Hey guys, so this is my October wrap up. I know it's really, really late, but I've been really busy with school and I haven't had time to film or upload videos that I've already filmed. But I read a lot of books in October, so I definitely had to film a wrap up for you guys. So let's get to this wrap up. The first book I read in October was The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. So this is about two kids who fall into this land of stories and they go through and they meet Rapunzel, the Little Red Riding Hood, and all those characters from fairy tales. So I really enjoyed this and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars and I will definitely be reading the sequel. Next I read Fallout by Todd Strasser and as you can tell a lot of these are library books because I don't know I went on some library craze in October but this was it was okay I felt like it needed to be longer I felt like it was too short it's about this family who actually made a shelter and they were the only ones prepared for this nuclear bomb and everyone else is literally fighting to get into the shelter so it basically goes through the two weeks that they're in there and how they survived and everything. Like I said, I felt like it needed to be longer, so I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Next, I read School of Good and Evil by Saman Chenaini, I think that's how you say it. This book was so good, one of my favorites of the month. It's about this girl who wants to be a princess, but she accidentally gets taken and gets put into the School of Evil. And then the other girl who thinks she's going to go to the School of Evil gets put in the School of Good to become a princess so I will definitely be reading the sequel to this and now that I think about it I think I would change my rating and give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff. I'm <laughs> really disappointed in this like it was not that good. Maybe it was because I saw the trailer before I read the book so I had all these expectations and I was like when is this gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? And none of it ever happened. So I feel like the book is going to be really different than the movie so don't expect them to be the same. So I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Next I read Project Kane by Joffrey Gerard and I won't say much about this book because I did a full review on the blog which I will link below but I really really love this book as you can tell by my review if you read it and by all these tabs so I ended up giving this a four to five stars and I can't wait to read the companion the next book I read was The Vow by Jessica Martinez really really good this was a really good contemporary if you're looking for a contemporary that's different or if you're not really into contemporary because I'm not really into contemporary this is the perfect pick because it's unique and unlike any other YA contemporary it's about this boy he is not a citizen of the US, he's only here because of his dad's job, and then his dad gets laid off, so they all have to go back to their country. I think it's in like two weeks they have to go back. So the guy's best friend Annie decides, let's get married so you can stay here and become a citizen. So if you want to know more about this book and my thoughts, I did a full review on the blog which you can go check out, I will put the link below, and I ended up giving this 4 out of 5 stars. I really really enjoyed it and I really recommend it. Next I read The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken and it was really good. You guys probably know all about this book. I will definitely be reading the sequel and I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. So next I read a couple of graphic novels. The first one I read was The True Story Lost Trail, Nine Days Alone in the Wilderness. And this was pretty good. I wish they went more into depth of what it was like to be in the wilderness because I felt like it should have been longer, but it ended up being a decent read and I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. So next I read Chew Volume 1 and Chew Volume 2. I just got into the series and I saw the series on someone's YouTube. I don't remember if it's you I'm talking about, let me know because I completely forgot, but I saw these on someone's YouTube and they are really good even though they're kind of weird. I will show you something um, right now actually. It's really really weird. Here, look at this. It's about this guy like as soon as he eats something he can tell like what happened to that person, where is that person from, like everything about that person. So really weird but it was really good and I ended up giving volume 1 5 out of 5 stars and I gave volume 2 4 out of 5 stars. It didn't live up to the first volume but it was still good and I'll still be continuing with the series. Next I read Orange is the New Black by Piper Kerman and I think that if you're not into memoirs and you're not into books that are prison related then you're not really gonna like this book. As you all know this is the book that the Netflix show is based on and I recently just finished the show after I read the book and 
and it was nothing like the book. They like overdid it. They overdid it. Everything in the show literally never happened. I mean, a couple of things happened, but it wasn't as extreme as the show. Literally, no one tried to kill her. No one hated her. She was like loved by everyone. Like I said, I really enjoyed this book and I ended up giving it a four to five stars. The next book I read was A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Husseini. Love this book. It wasn't as good as the Kite Runner, but it was still up there. It was amazing. It was really good. I only cried once <laughs> compared it to the 10 times I cried in the Kite Runner. Khaled Husseini definitely continues to impress me and I can't wait to read And the Mountains Echoed. <sighs> this is so good. Definitely a five out of five stars and one of my favorites. And I definitely recommend reading something by Khaled Husseini if you haven't already. So next I decided to continue these comic books that I stopped reading for some reason. So I ended up reading volume three, Safety Behind Bars of The Walking Dead. I don't know if you can see that, but it was really, really good. And I gave it five out of five stars. And then I thought I would take a break from my tablet and I read volume four in physical copy and it was just as good. It just keeps getting better 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 and better and it is definitely not like the tv show crazy stuff happens like Alyssa from a series just started reading them and she was like what the hell is going on definitely recommend reading this if you haven't already and I gave this five out of five stars and then I went back to my tablet and I read volume five the best defense <laughs> just as good literally it is just getting better and better I gave this five out of five stars and I will definitely be continuing so that was my wrap up I read a lot of books because tip one give yourself an hour before you go to sleep and you will read a lot and tip two read all you can during your breaks from school because when I actually have school and I'm busy I really don't read so I usually read at night and when I have breaks. Those are my tips for reading as much as I read this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye!